Hey y'all, so uh, today we're going to look at the Blue Alpha Gear Hybrid EDC Belt. Let's get into it. Now, if you like this content, like, sub, shares, all that good stuff, I really appreciate it. Also down below, coupon codes, merch available, all that good stuff to help support the channel. Now, today, as I said, we're looking at the Blue Alpha Gear Hybrid EDC Belt. This is kind of their more EDC style belt. They have like a more slimline belt, a little bit, uh, you know, without the buckle or anything. And then they have like a full size duty belt. It's more like a duty gear, you know, battle belt, whatever term you want to use. This is, you know, basically a belt to go in your pants and wear every day when you're carrying a firearm. I'm going to get my thoughts on it. Um, first off, we're going to go over the craftsmanship. Now, this belt's made in America, right? Stamp it right here on the back made in the usa which is awesome i love products that are made in america it's nice to see you know that we can still produce something so that's good um i've had this belt for about two years now my wife got it for me and it has held up beautifully no fraying no issues of any kind uh, i've adjusted it many times with the velcro and it has you know no fraying or issues with the velcro doesn't seem to be giving any issue we're losing any strength uh, how, now, how do you close? How you close the belt is it's got this cobra buckle right here, right? And all you do, right? If it's open like this, you just click it together, clicks in, very firm, very good. Never had it undo. Very nice design. And then to undo it, you push together these two bits here on the sides, and it unhooks the belt. Easy to do one-handed, right? So that's a bonus. Is you can do it one-handed um, if you need to unhook it you know for whatever reason without using both hands uh, again belt has held up really well no issues with the craftsmanship um, I gotta say you know they definitely build a nice belt I'm gonna put the belt on and I'm gonna talk about it some more now I'm wearing the belt I've tucked my shirt in for once just to show off the belt a little bit and it wears really nice um, if you're not actually carrying a gun that particular day which several times I've you know, been around the hounds where I've not really have a gun strapped on. Um, it is still a pretty comfortable belt. One thing I will say is, well, I got married a couple years ago, and for some reason my clothes have uh, really shrunk. It's the damnedest thing. I don't know what happened. And apparently, with uh, your clothes kind of shrinking, I've also noticed that, um, well, the buckle. If you're sitting for a long time, depending upon where the buckle can be. If you're sitting for a long time, say you're in the car for a few hours, it can kind of dig into your, uh, well, your stomach that um, has developed because you are now uh, having someone cook for you being married. Um, so anyway, uh, that was something I did notice that if you're, if you're wearing this and you're sitting down in the car for a long time, um, I have had a couple instances where the buckle does kind of dig into you because it is a little bit wider than the belt. But, um, you know, again, you can kind of shift the belt over to the side, which I've actually done with a couple different EDC belts that have a more heavy-duty buckle. Kind of eliminates the problem. Moving on. Now, this is a reinforced gun belt, so I'm going to show how well it conceals a, uh, well, a gun. All right. Now, I have my T5 Custom Kydex uh, appendix holster with my Kimber K6S, right, with a ulti clip on it. And because this belt is just like every other belt, I'm easily able to just slide it over the belt and voila. Now, something I will notice or will mention in a moment is, and I want to show here, first, it conceals very well. No issues, just as you would expect. A reinforced gun belt holds the gun into you when I pull the shirt tight. Again, conceals really well. Um, now... Something to mention about this belt and something that, uh, well, for me is it's not the end of the world, but something to keep in mind. If you frequently go back and forth between inside the waistband and maybe not carrying a gun at all, you may have to adjust the belt, obviously, because, you know, your the waistband circumference or whatever is, well, less because you're not, you're not sticking a big old gun in there. What I ended up having to do when I take off my gun is have to come along here, undo the Velcro, and snug the belt up a little bit, and then put it back on, and then if I'm going to carry a gun again, I'll let it go loose a little bit and redo it. Not the end of the world. Something to keep in mind is you might be adjusting the Velcro. Now again, I've used this belt for two years. The Velcro has no signs of wearing out, 
It's not really a big deal, just something to keep in mind is you will be, if you're doing inside the waistband and sometimes you don't necessarily carry, it can be something you're going to have to adjust. Now there is something else I do want to show that for me was kind of a big problem. Now I want to show something here. This is from AJ Custom Designs. It's a leather holster, really nice holster if you're looking for a leather holster. Um, but these have pretty standard belt loops. Leather holsters pretty much all have the same, everybody uses the same punch to make their belt loop holes. But something I noticed with this belt is if you want to put this, say you've got your belt already on and you're strapped on your gun, you just want to slide it on. I have trouble doing that because the belt loop, the loop for the belt is not big enough for this buckle to pass through. Now again, I could go get five other holsters, but I'm not going to for time's sake, because uh, generally they all these companies use the same little punch to make the holes in the leather. Now, I did have a 1791 holster that while this one I could probably ram it through if I had to, um, it absolutely would not fit. So, and again, it doesn't matter. I've used this end, I'll try this end. Again, it does not go through. So if you have leather holsters, what I found you have to do to uh, get the holster on your belt is you have to undo this completely, right? And then you pull the buckle off, right? You can pull this off here. And then you can feed the holster on. And then when you're ready to go, you just feed the buckle back through the belt. Now, for me, that is kind of a pain to do. Again, not world ending, but something I definitely noticed as it made me gravitate towards different belts uh, for when I'm carrying outside the waistband because I found it easier to put it on, easier to take it off, easier to adjust as needed. Especially, you know, and it's easy enough to do if maybe you just have one holster, but I quite often will carry a spare magazine holder on the other side, so I found myself actually having to perform quite the interesting task of feeding the belt through the loops with the buckle off, then the holster, then back through the rest of the belt loops all the way over to here, then the uh, holster for the gun, then put it back together, then cinch it down, then click it shut. Not world ending, but definitely a pain in my book. So if you carry outside the waistband and you carry a leather holster, it could be something you might want to consider uh, that it might not necessarily fit for you. Kydex holsters, again, the, the slots are a little bit bigger usually. Uh, I haven't tested it. I don't have a lot of outside the waistband Kydex holsters to test it on, but I imagine it would probably be a little bit better, but just something to keep in mind. All right, so I went to all the trouble of sticking on my outside the waistband holster with my uh, Delta Elite, basically a 5 inch 1911 to show you how well it conceals a full-size handgun. And it does it pretty well. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but the gun is gone. That's a full-size 1911, concealed very well. Pull it tight, and, you know, again, a little bit sticking here because I want to pull it tight, but nothing serious. And again, to be concealing a full-size handgun this well, showing it here, there's no buckling, there's no bowing out. It holds the gun up pretty well, supports it on your uh, side. So that's how well it conceals, even if it does take you like 20 minutes to get it on. Overall, I think it's a really well-built uh, belt. It might not necessarily be for everybody because, you know, again, of a couple of issues I mentioned. But if you're looking for a good reinforced gun belt made in America, definitely give them a, a look out and see what you think. But uh, other than that, put down below, what kind of EDC belt do you have? And have a good day.